Come in. A letter for you, Captain. Dismissed. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what? That's Zorro again. Enough already. Uh, uh. <laughs> Garcia! Garcia! Oh. At your command, Captain. My boots. Where are my boots? Do you find something funny? Huh? No, not at all. Really, but, but I, I wouldn't want you to catch a toe cold, Captain. <laughs> ah, there. I can see them. There they are. Oh, 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 oh! Got them! Here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a foolproof trap to catch that wretched Zorro. Mm. My idea is pure genius, Garcia. Listen to this. I'm going to have a few Indians unfairly arrested. Unfairly? Yes, it means not fair. But why? Because that's the way it is, you fool. I'll keep them right here, in the garrison house. And later, I shall leave with the garrison on a long, a very long journey. <laughs> Zorro will think the coast is clear. The coast will be clear? He'll rush to rescue those Indians. Oh. And just then, I'll return with the garrison and I'll clobber him. Really? Oh! Oh. Hmm. Listen to me, Garcia. Uh, While I am gone with the troops, you will have to guard the Indians in the garrison mm. house. And you'd better hold your tongue, or else mm. you'll end up on boot duty forever. Oh. Yes, Captain. Do you want me to repeat that for you again? Sorry, Captain. Good morning, Captain Monasterio. Oh. Senorita de la Vega. I am honored that you accepted my invitation. I wouldn't have missed the review of the troops for anything in the world. May oh. I? Hmm. <laughs> It's so elegant, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And still, there is more to come. Ooh. Here comes the highlight of the show. Oh. Look at those men. Hmm. Yes, take a good look at them all. Those Indians were arrested because they were trying to get out of doing forced labor. Never be an end to this. Those people are outlaws. They deserve to be treated with the utmost severity. Any challenge to the governor's authority will not go unpunished. This should be a lesson to you all. Take them away. Come now, Captain. You cannot treat them this way. And why not, may I ask? Who's going to stop me? I applaud the return of order in Los Angeles. You are too sensitive, senorita. After all, those people are only Indians. Remember that you are Don Alejandro's daughter. Be quiet! I am now going to lead the garrison to Monterey, where the governor is due to inaugurate a new palace. I shall return in 10 days or so. Are you leaving right now? I can hear something that sounds like regret in your voice. Alas, duty calls, my dear. Oh. It was a pleasure to share this moment with you. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Sergeant. Don't let me down, oh. or else. Yes, no. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Captain. You silly oaf. <laughs> oh. Ah, 
I think I deserve a little reward, don't I? You just do as usual. As for me, I'll just go and uh, freshen up a little. Uh, to the hacienda, quick! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Go! <laughs> Diego wins this round. <laughs> you never turn your back on your opponent. <laughs> Diego! Monasterio has had some Indians arrested again. He's thrown them in jail. He'll be put on trial within the next few days. Oh, it's unfair. <laughs> Oh, no, not one all. I touched it first. <laughs> and Monasterio found out who was hiding behind Zoro's mask. So there. Mm -hmm. Huh? What did you say? It would help if you listened. Monasterio has had some Indians unfairly arrested, and he's left for Monterey with the garrison. We can't let him do that. And, um, where are they kept exactly? They're in the garrison house. You really have huh? to go and see. Yes, you're right. I'll go straight away. Are you coming with me? Yes, going to the garrison is a good idea. That way, we'll find out if a unit is going to Monterey. It would also be good to find out how many men will be left with Monasterio. Hmm. <clears throat> My dear Garcia, I just wanted to tell you how much I've appreciated your, uh, your, your intelligence, uh, your courage uh, throughout this whole business. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby appoint you <laughs> lifetime captain of this garrison. Huh? Sergeant Garcia, what have I just heard? You've been made interim captain? I believe congratulations are in order. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I mean... Now, no. now, no need for false modesty hmm. with me. I'm glad to see your courage finally rewarded. Oh, Don Diego, this is such an honor. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but what a shame you have to guard those awful prisoners. We could have gone out to celebrate your promotion with a good meal. Mm. But what have they done that was so wrong? Oh, sorry, Don Diego. Don't take it personally, but I cannot discuss the Indians. Captain's orders. Yeah, I understand. National interest. In that case, I'll discuss it directly with Monasterio. And by the way, when is that good man due to return? No, oh, not for another ten days. At the very least. Come on! There's no time to waste. We still have a long way to go to get to Monterey. Seven? That's quite a lot of soldiers. I wonder what Monasterio has got up his sleeve again. This doesn't look good. Yes, you're right. I think this is a mission for Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to waste, Corporal Gonzalez. We've got to head back if we want to return to Los Angeles at the same time as Zorro. If my trap has worked as I hope it has, huh? <laughs> he's already on his way. At your command, Captain! <laughs> Tone it down! This is a secret mission. Uh, at your command, Captain. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
chocolate in the paella. El Zorro. Calm down. But, Sergeant, the Indians have escaped. The Indians? Really? Oh, yes. All is well. What do you mean, all is well? <laughs> I shouldn't tell you about it, but uh, that was part of the plan. Oh. Why do you think we arrested them when they'd done nothing wrong? Huh, you idiots? Huh? But, Sergeant, we always arrest people who haven't done anything wrong. Yes, but in this case, Captain Monasterio and I had planned the whole thing. We arrest the Indians, Zorro comes along to rescue them, and then wham, bam, we get him. But, uh, Zorro already came, didn't he? Zorro came? Gah! How did we miss him? Quick, get him! Get him! <laughs> Ah, there you are, Zorro. <gasps> this time, you won't be able to escape. Ah, it's you, Captain. Everything's fine, my friends. It'll just take a moment. Just grab him. I want him dead or alive. <laughs> go, go. We've got nothing against you. You heard the Captain. Uh, grab him. Let them go. They're just small fry. <laughs> I prefer to focus on another type of game. At this point, it would seem that your time is up, Zorro. Attack! I don't want to trouble you, Captain, but I'm afraid I have other plans. <laughs> oh. Adios, Captain. I'll be back so we can have more fun together. I promise. What are you looking at, you imbeciles? Go after him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Oh, come on! Ow! I see him! There he is! Look up there! We gotta take that down! Oh, I see him! Don't let him get away! And... So, are you ready to take the plunge, Caballero? <laughs> there he is! This way! Come on! We've got him! Oh. Oh. Garcia, I can see you, you imbecile. Get up right now. <laughs> there, there he is. He can't escape us now. <laughs> Three 
against one. That's more than I deserve. I'm not that strong, am I? Hmm. Hmm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Left, right, left, oh. right. <laughs> uh, huh? <sighs> Stop your silly trick, Zoro. Make it a fair fight. Fair? How funny. You know full well that's not at all my style, Captain. Tornado, I've forgotten something. Where is he? Huh? Ah! I'm sorry, Captain. I nearly forgot your little souvenir. What? Carlos, I know he's hiding in here. But, but you've got it all wrong, Corporal. We only host honest customers. Sergeant Garcia can testify to this. Uh, uh, oh. Hmm. Because you think this sounds honest, perhaps? Playing the guitar in the middle of the night? Ouch! Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Ha. Ha. Don Diego. Ah. Oh, sorry. I had no idea you were in here. Oh. Ah, I got you, you bandit. Oh. Captain, are you back already? Where is he? He has to be here. Ha. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> ah. <sighs> Have huh? you lost something, Captain? May I help you at all? I... I don't understand. What are you doing here at this time, Don Diego? Shouldn't you be at your hacienda instead? Ah, uh, tell me about it, Captain. Can you imagine that my father's business requires me to go to San Luis Obispo tomorrow morning at dawn? So I prefer to sleep in the inn so I can take the first coach. Garcia, this is all your fault. You let Zoro escape when I had entrusted you with a mission of the utmost importance. I'm going to put a price on his head. So that's the lout responsible for the racket I've been subjected to for the past few hours. Let me add 500 pesos to your reward for whoever can catch him. 500 pesos? 500 pesos? 500 meals at Carlos's? <clears throat> I wouldn't want to throw you out, but do you intend to stay while I bathe? Don Diego, I'm sorry to have interrupted your... your bath. Not at all. The pleasure is all mine. Adios, Don Diego. Drink. <sighs> sorry, Captain. You know what you've got to look forward to, Garcia. Boot duty forever. <laughs> yes, Captain. Oh. <laughs> The 
Those are just two pesos apiece. Oxhorn comb, senorita. Yes, senora. I even have red fans, you see? <laughs> Senorita Ines, you look so very beautiful. Careful, or you might cause a few accidents. Hmm. Ines, Bernardo, where's Diego? Guess, Carmen, he's still in bed. <sighs> hear ye, oh. hear ye! Make way for the captain of Los Angeles! <gasps> oh. huh? On this, the birthday of His Royal Majesty, our good and kind king, all honors due to the royal crown shall be presented to the captain of the king's army. Silence! Happy birthday to you, Captain. What is this? <laughs> this is a message for you, Captain. <laughs> Hear ye. Make room for Captain Monasterio. Zorro wishes to pay his sincerest respects to Eduardo Monasterio. Oh, isn't that nice of Zorro? <laughs> P.S. I hope that you like your garrison's new flag. Oh. Zorro! 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 I'll arrest him, and I'll have him get... get on him! Oh, the captain is not happy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, captain! I'll save the honor of this regiment! Hurry, you nincompoop! Corporal, get down! I am your superior, and I will protect the honor of the regiment! No need, Sergeant! I've got it! <laughs> Zorro, how did he manage to sneak in and get out with this huge crowd? <laughs> <laughs> Antonio, hitch up our horses, will you, and wait for me. I have some important business. <clears throat> Hello, Antonio. Ah, Ines. You miss me already. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Call me rich, fine. But I'm more than that. I'm also the most handsome and strongest of all the caballeros of Los Angeles. Oh, are you, Antonio? Really? Hmm. Dear me. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear the rooster at dawn. Is he sick or what? The rooster crowed, Diego, just like every day. Oh. Uh, Diego, you're just in time. I feel like dancing. <laughs> uh, well, it's, uh... Hmm. Thank you. You saved my life. You'd better prove you deserve it. <laughs> What a couple. This is it. I expect my son will ask Carmen to marry him. Oh. It's high time he did. Hmm. Did you see the expression on the captain's face when Zorro switched flags in the garrison? Oh, that Zorro. He's always causing trouble every time he appears. What? You should be glad Zorro's with us. No one else stands up to that tyrant monasterio. Oh. <sighs> Can we talk about something other than Zorro? Uh, oh, Pooh, you only think of fun and games. All right, go dance with some senorita with a crush on you. But Carmen... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Captain, sir? Here's Zorro's flag. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Captain. Hmm. I found out the true identity of that masked Zorro. You what? Please, do tell. That Zorro is quite handy with the ladies. 
elegant, witty, charming, and always showing up everywhere like a man who doesn't need to work. He's obviously a caballero, one of those rancheros who buck your authority. Oh, of course. Who is it? Tell me. You'll promise to help me buy that traitor's lands. For a low price, won't you? Oh. Ah. A caballero. Gallant. Elegant. Good with fancy words. Mm -hmm. Why, that's Don Diego de la Vega. <laughs> Don Melapensa, you make up the wildest stories just so that you can buy the de la Vega's estate. <laughs> Listen to me, Captain. Have you ever seen Don Diego and Zorro together? I've seen Don Diego with a sword. Mm. Even a poodle would do better. You see there? It's very intelligent. He passes himself off as a lousy sword fighter, but if his life is in danger, he'll have to reveal himself. <gasps> What a fine party this is. Los Angeles knows how to celebrate the king's birthday. What? How dare you call me a scoundrel? <gasps> huh? Oh my, no, no. This is a misunderstanding. I said nothing of the sort. Good day, Don Rodrigo. Antonio, Don Diego de la Vega has insulted hmm. me. What? Are you sure? You're gonna let this slide? What kind of son are you? Don Diego, hmm. you have insulted my father. You must make amends. No, no I didn't. Antonio. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Uh, on God. A duel? Oh, come on. Goodness. The old thing. Oh, no. Don Diego, it's going to get skewered. Halt! Stop! Stop everything! You caballeros can discuss this between yourselves. Don't you do something? Diego has no chance. Stop this, Captain. The honor of Don Rodrigo is at stake. His son has the right to fight for him. The duel must proceed. Place your bets, senores. Who will win? A peso on Antonio Melapenza. Two, another peso for Antonio. Another. Oh, a bonny sum. 30 pesos on Don Diego. Anybody care to best this bet? Me, me too. I want to bet. bet too. And three pesos from Corporal Gonzalez on Antonio. Only two from Sergeant Garcia. Wow. Take the slower, please. It's going too fast for me. I'll teach you to be polite. Boy! Oh, that's enough! Carmen! Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> And the winner is Diego! Oh. <laughs> I never want to do another duel in my life. It's too dangerous. <laughs> and to think I paid for all those fencing lessons in Spain only for this. <laughs> oh, mm. you ought to stick to dancing. I mean, at least it's something you do well. Oh. Hmm. How could he possibly have... Good work, Antonio. You were excellent throughout the duel. Don Diego had a wild stroke of luck. Otherwise, he'd be chopped to bits by now. Fine. Let that teach him a lesson. <laughs> well, it was worth trying. That De La Vega boy must be the world's luckiest fencer. <sighs> Either plain lucky or very highly skilled. <sighs> Captain, how about forcing Don Diego to wear Zorro's costume? If he refuses, we'll know he has something to hide. Ah. 
A duel? Oh, if I had been there, I would have given a good lesson to that Antonio Malapensa. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Captain Monasterio. What a surprise. Oh, how nice of you to drop by to check on me. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to check on that Zorro. Lancer? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I will not put on this horrible suit of clothes. It's so ugly. And besides, it certainly isn't tailor-made. <sighs> now, Captain, you can't possibly mean you'd seriously suspect my brother after what you saw him do earlier. Hmm. hmm. Come on, Don Diego. Orders are orders. Diego, son! Just put on that ridiculous suit. Once the captain sees he's mistaken, you'll be cleared and we can all go eat in peace. <laughs> <sighs> all right, Father. I'll put it on. Thank you, my boy. Mm. I'll be right back. Wait for me. Actually, this outfit's not that bad. What do you think? Arrest him and search the hacienda. He must hide his real outfit mm. in his blasted horse tornado somewhere. <laughs> really now? This is absurd. My son can't be Zorro. Come on down, Don Diego. All right, coming. Let's go and search. Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <gasps> my vases, <gasps> my curtains, oh, my tureen! <sighs> Bunch of brutes, <laughs> savages, barbarians! Hmm. I'll help you, Doña Maria. Put that down, Corporal. Zorro's horse isn't in her dishes. <sighs> This search for Zoro's exhausting. Now, I'm hungry. When do we get to eat? Hmm. Don't be so sure of yourself, Zoro. Yeah, sure, Captain. Whatever you say. Hmm. You want to see my brother faint? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you mix them up. Can't any of you army boys read a title? Still here, Captain. Huh? Ah, Don Diego, I knew it! Zorro couldn't possibly be you. Not only that, you couldn't be Zorro either. You are so perspicuous, Sergeant. Aren't you supposed to go and arrest Zorro? 
hurry up, will you? I don't want my supper to go cold. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> you two, stay here, and don't you wiggle a whisker or a nostril. Yes, yes sir. sir. He's here. Zoro, Lancers, attack! Catch him! Catch him! <sighs> What are you waiting for? Arrest that outlaw! Yeah. Zoro! Get him! Get him! Oh. Halt Zoro! Oh. Catch him! Zoro! <laughs> Let me get by, Corporal! I am your superior! Let's go! Speed up! You catch him! Yes, Attack! I saw a corporal! Over there? No, not there. Ugh. Where is he? Ugh. This time you're done, Zoro. Oh. He's not over here. Where is he? Ow, it's scratchy! He could be hidden anywhere in this forest. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Got him! He's, He's mine! mine. Look over there! I think they got him! <laughs> we have Zoro! Oh, we got him! They've caught Zoro! Thank goodness! <laughs> ah, my costume is much more trendy. So, where is he? I almost got him, Captain. <clears throat> Dummies! A grasshopper has a bigger brain than either of you. Get back to your manhunt! Don't let him get away! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! <clears throat> Captain, what are you doing? Hunting lizards? Oh, Zoro? A horse? Wait, how did you... <laughs> Zoro! Catch him! Quick! Lancers, saddle up, men! Move it! Hurry up! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! I see you, Sergeant! Up here! Zoro! <laughs> Catch him! Yeah! <laughs> Settle right now! No dishonor to the Royal Army! You'll all be pulling kitchen duty! Run! Run! Hurry! That's an order! Sound the retreat! That's enough! <laughs> Everyone to the Hacienda! <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, Tornado! Like the wind! <laughs> oh, great. I have to wear this carnival costume again? Is Don Diego still locked up in the library, men? <laughs> well, 
Have you caught him? Don, Don Diego, you're still in here? Here in the library? Well, that means you, you can't possibly be Zorro. Well, of course not. <sighs> ah, finally. We told you so, didn't we? Oh. And now, Captain, if you'll excuse us, we're off to dinner. Just the fam. Good night. Goodbye. What a suffocating costume. And so itchy. <laughs> Money off to Monterey before the end of the week. The governor thanks you, Aguilera. All right, who's next? How about a smile, gentlemen? Captain, I paid my taxes last month, and presently I, I just have one peso left. Who mentioned taxes, Dela Cruz? This money is sort of a supplement to finance the governor's protocol costs in Monterey. Even Sergeant Garcia paid it. Mm -hmm. I have a solution for you. You can sell us your cattle. Uh, uh, wait! No mercy for freedoms. Sergeant, I take him away. As you wish, sir. Mm. Move it! Mm. What Monasterio is doing is a scandal! Yet more money for the lavish parties the governor throws. The more we give him, the more he demands. And you, Don Diego, you've said nothing. What do you think of all this? I'm always very bored by anything involving taxes. <sighs> oh, you are hmm? so wrapped up in yourself. If Zorro were here, he'd defend the oppressed farmers and teach Captain Monasterio a good lesson. He'd stand up and fight. <sighs> My dear sweet Carmen, I didn't study art and philosophy to wind up compromising myself in common sword fights. Please. Ah! <laughs> days on horseback and all those good meals at the inn that I'll be missing. Hmm. Once this money's in Monterey, the governor will see that we've collected so much more in tax money than any other Pueblo in California. And I'll get a big fat promotion to Colonel. <laughs> and I'll get a less fat promotion to Sergeant. Who knows? Huh? Military life. I haven't even had dinner. Mm. 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 You see there? You hear my poor starved stomach growling? Ow! Alert! Zoro is attacking us! This is a simple rock slide, Sergeant. Don't just sit here like a bump on a cactus. Huh? No, no, no. That's an order, uh. you idiot. Mm. Oh, mommy, why? Why, oh, why me? Come on, Sergeant! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sergeant. It's Zorro, Captain! Zorro! He's here, I told you. Seize that masked man! You shouldn't play with this. It's too dangerous. Sergeant, Captain, Corporal, quite an assembly of great men. Men, protect the wagon! Put 
protect the gold! <laughs> sir, yes, sir! Not fast enough, gentlemen. <laughs> the governor doesn't need all this money. When I think of all those poor people who, because of this, can't feed their families, load those money bags on my horse. Otherwise... <laughs> Go pay for this. Garcia, huh? Gonzalez, do as he says. Move it! Hurry it up! Fireworks? Are you in the mood for a party? Don't touch uh, that! Those are fireworks for a party at the governor's! Really? I think that was the grand finale. I wish you all a very pleasant evening. Yeah, Tornado! Oh. <laughs> Remount, men! Catch those horses! I want Zorro! Yes, sir, yes, sir. of Spain. There's a veritable fortune in these bags. Thanks, Zorro. You did all the work for us. <laughs> hey, Lorana, this is the perfect time to take off his mask and finally find out who he really is. <laughs> Easy now, horsey. I was a bullfighter in my younger days. No horse is going to scare me. <laughs> Ole! <clears throat> Muchas gracias, my adoring fans. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here! Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> Where are the other two? They left with the gold. Made off like bandits, huh? Let's go get them. Huh? Hey, wait for me! Why did I get the smallest horse in the whole garrison? Those idiots have erased all the tracks. Oh well, I'll find them later on. Just like in the good old days. There are idiots who sow, and those who reap. <laughs> That's for sure, boss. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Better watch out, you two. The first one who sticks his fat hands into our loot gets his ears clipped. Yeah. <laughs> I can assure you, Don Diego, I saw Zorro steal the money. Saw him with my own eyes, clear as I see you. That meanie. Zorro? Weren't you at least scared, Sergeant? Scared? Me? Never. Why, I drew my sword. I fought like a fiend. Just as I was starting to best him, the, oh, the brigand managed to get away and run off with the oh. booty. Oh, no. What a shame. Sora would never do such a thing. He has always been on our side. Mm. I'd always found him likable in all but stealing poor people's money. I never thought he'd stoop so low. Silence! 
when the governor assigns me a mission. I carry it all the way out. Don't expect us to pay out a second time. Huh. Passing himself off as an Avenger, Zoro <gasps> betrayed you. Hmm. I'll raise the bounty on his head by a thousand pesos. <laughs> What we need is a manhunt to flush Zorro out of his lair for good. Any volunteers? Me! Yes, sir. He's right! Let's go! Let's go get him! Let's catch him! What's in this for Malapinsa? <gasps> hmm. You're right. There's something fishy about this. Two men attacked Zorro, a duo. Say, where are the two men who usually help Malapinsa? The dentist and Lorana, where are they? <laughs> Don Diego, would you do us the honor of joining us? We haven't got enough men of uh, courage. Gee, I'd love to tag along, but a manhunt at night with Zorro on the loose? <sighs> well, all right, I will. Besides, a little exercise would do me good. Let's head on out, Captain. Suit yourself, Don Diego. If I were you, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to, though. Oh. I'll meet you tonight at the Malapensa Hacienda. I want to see what they're up to. What a beautiful landscape! And the sunset is stunning, look! Hurry up, Don Diego! You're lagging behind! If I were a painter, I'd love to paint this. <sighs> I have no time to lose with this romantic caballero. Don't wait for me, Don Rodrigo. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Thanks, Zorro. <laughs> Don't worry, dentist. There's so much money here, Don Rodrigo won't even notice. That's right. We'll be living it up, <laughs> like the governor. <laughs> hmm. Those two crooks are knee deep in this. No doubt about it. You're right, Bernardo. Those are the two who attacked me. Mm -hmm. huh? That's weird. For a second there, I had the distinct impression we were being watched. Oh, must have been a wild animal. No trace whatsoever of sorrow. This manhunt is a failure. Another failure! My hacienda is half a league from here, right behind the hill. You're all welcome to come. Thank you kindly. Hmm. The men and the horses need to rest up a little. And to eat and drink a little. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're not disturbing the two of you. Uh, uh, hello, boss. Uh, wasn't expecting you back so soon. <laughs> Captain Monasterio and his men are my guests. Hmm. Ah. Garcia, hmm. who gave you permission to sit down? Oh, well, sir, yes, sir. I'll be right back. I'm going down to the cellar to get some refreshments. You two stay here to keep an eye out. Don't let anyone in. <sighs> Here's the last one. <gasps> Come on, Bernardo. Uh, oh, hey! Don Rodrigo! What a nice surprise! What are you doing in my home? I've come to settle a little matter, my dear Don Rodrigo. I couldn't possibly fight an opponent who isn't armed. On guard. <laughs> Don't worry now, boss. We'll handle it. <laughs> well, well. It's amazing all the friendly people one can meet down here in this cellar. Hmm. No more noise, you numbskulls. Captain Monasterio is up there. No problem, boss. We heard you. We'll skin this critter in silence. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Uh, it's taking them a long time to bring up our drinks. You can say that again, Captain. Huh? What was that noise? <laughs> dear, oh dear. You have a strange way of being silent. 
I'm going upstairs. You take care of him. And I want absolute quiet down here. <laughs> Yell, if you must, but silently. Excellent. I see you're getting the hang of it. Oops. Oh, that one was my fault. Well now, Don Rodrigo, you look terrible. You look like you just met the devil in person. <laughs> A trifle. Just scurrying rats. <laughs> Very, very big rats, I'd say. Oh. Uh. Will you kindly tell me what's happening here? Uh, I... I haven't the foggiest. Huh? Ah! Oh! <laughs> so, 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 uh, oh. Zoro! I would very much like to know what this outlaw is doing in your cellar. He... he came here to steal... my wine. Yes, look, there's the proof. Don Whoa. Rodrigo, if lying is an art, you're a master of mendacity. May I take private lessons with you? No more bantering. I'll slash you to pieces. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> nice moves, Captain! of the house. <laughs> Surrender now! <laughs> Stop this now! <laughs> wow! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Panic? I'm just borrowing it. Thanks for the hand. I'd love to continue this fascinating conversation with you, but time is of the essence, and I must get busy with the task that awaits me. Aguilera and De La Cruz. Check and check. Yeah, Tornado!
<laughs> Let's hear it for Zoro! Viva Zoro! Captain! Captain! Zoro gave all the money back! What? Oh, toss them all in prison! Now! Kent, our jail's too small for everyone. Uh, besides, the soldiers won't hear of it, since Zoro gave them their money back as well. <laughs> Me too, see? <laughs> mm. I'm going to have myself a nice little feast. Lucia! What? Stop! Let me go! This is a nightmare. I have to wake up. Captain, there's a letter for you. It has your name written on it. It's signed with a Z. Zoro thought of you too. See how nice he is. You see, he's not a meanie after all. <laughs> what? Let's go for Zoro! Zoro! Viva Zoro! My dear friends, yes. hmm. I've invited you here tonight to celebrate my latest land acquisition. I'm now the proud owner of 125 acres of land and a thousand head of cattle. Congratulations! Oh. That's wonderful. Oh. Who are you? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. An excellent investment, Don Malabenza. Our beautiful region is the safest bet in California. Don't forget Zorro, though. <laughs> <laughs> well now, Captain, you should be able to get rid of him easily, right? Zorro? <laughs> Our city has to embrace its future. Oh, Governor, if I ever become Alcalde of Los Angeles, I'll build a school, a hospital, and... I run this town quite well without you, Don <gasps> Verdugo. Nominating a new Alcalde would be perfectly useless. Right, Your Excellency? It... Uh, <clears throat> ah, well, if I were Alcalde, I'd waste no time building an institute of poetry. <laughs> what a marvelous idea, Diego. <laughs> Don Malapensa, I hear your estate has a jacaranda that's over a hundred years old. I'd love to see it. Sure, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh. Huh? That Captain Monasterio appears to enjoy the governor's favor. But what if he fell into disgrace? My husband would then be named Alcalde before moving up to the governorship. I realize you would like to become First Lady of California, but any action against Monasterio is quite risky. Count me out, my dear. Should we? Actually, your friend Monasterio would toss you in prison if he knew that you were the head of a band of thieves. Now remember, I can prove that you are. Shh! Tone it down. My dear, come now. I was kidding. I and my men are at your disposition, but in exchange, I hope that you will not forget me. <laughs> you will get more land. Be ready to execute my plan. Senorita Ines, thank you for talking the salesman into lowering his price on the cloth. What a fine businesswoman you are. Admirable. Oh, I'm used to it. What with negotiating hundreds of head of cattle for father. A real business, Shark. Mm. Beware, Doña Isabella. Guess who doesn't deserve the books that I special ordered for him, which will <laughs> arrive next week. Oh, how can I wait that long? I'll die from boredom. <laughs> Don Diego! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Would 
you kindly show me around Los Angeles, <laughs> Sergeant? Z Zozo! Did you see it? Uh, Zozo! 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 Uh, help me! Did you see? Huh? Quick, quick! Charge of security in this garrison town! Topping the list is my safety! Zoro could have killed me! It won't happen ever again, Your Excellency. Zoro took us by surprise. <sighs> the army is never surprised, soldiers! And if Doña Verdugo isn't found by tomorrow, you will all wind up huh? in the salt mines! <laughs> we shall find her, Your Excellency. I'll order the entire army out on a manhunt for Zoro. Hmm. That bandit can't escape my sword. Uh, <laughs> ah! Ha! <laughs> ha! Got you, sword. Go! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Take heart, Don Verdugo. I don't understand. One day Zoro defends me, then today he kidnaps my Isabella. So sweet and gentle. But why? Horseshoe, all twisted and crooked. Oh. The fake Zoro who kidnapped Doña Verdugo left tracks in the dirt. And he rode into the canyons. Shh. <laughs> As of now, I am ordering a manhunt to locate Doña Verdugo and Zoro. I want all volunteers to step up now. I'll go. I want to help out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Me too. I'll help. Yeah. Let me in. I'm in. Come on. Me too. There could never be too many volunteers to flush out Zoro. Bravo, my son. Well, well, well. Hmm. What? Where's Sergeant Garcia? Hey, I'm right here. If you aren't back in the saddle in two seconds, you will be on kitchen duty as soon as we return. Understood? Mm -hmm. Oh, my apples! <laughs> See that, Ines? Huh? That cloud of dust is moving our way. Look, over there! Somebody's out riding! Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Ah. The dust has settled. There's no further sign of them. We'll simply surround the hill, split up into four squads. Let's pan out, people. My shoulder! Diego! Stop moaning. You will be just fine. It's horrible. Father, I won't be able to play the guitar again for days. No, oh, dear. This is my fault, Don Diego. Allow me to escort you to your hacienda. No, it's fine, Sergeant. It'd be unfair to keep a strong, courageous man like you from a manhunt to find Zorro. Uh, 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 
Please be careful, Ines. Zoro's surely waiting and lurking in those hills. Zoro hiding? Oof. I have a feeling we're being fought. <laughs> oh, are you scared of your shadow, Sergeant? It's a dead end! Mm. Oh. Sergeant! You know we're not at the inn! Do you want Zoro to spot us? No, but I thought that as long as he's nowhere around... <laughs> hmm. What? Monasterio? The salt mines! You'll get hard labor in the salt mines once we're out of this sticky wick of a manhunt! Dentist, leave us alone. Yes, boss. Hmm. Madam, you've no reason to be afraid. Our friend Captain Monasterio and his search parties are out looking for you in oh. the desert. <laughs> Let's leave this shack for a hiding place more suitable for a lady of your rank. My hacienda. Excellent idea. Zoro would never think of looking for me there. Please. Doña Verdugo and Don Malapensa? Well, well. It looks like they're headed for Malapensa's hacienda. What do you think about a little reunion between Doña Isabella and all those brave people looking for her, Tornado? <laughs> I don't think you'll find Zoro over there, Sergeant. I suppose not. Captain's orders and... Ah! Zoro! In the flesh. <laughs> ah! Help! Zoro! Zoro's right here! What? Captain! You who? Turn around! <laughs> well now, friends. Have you lost your way? <laughs> Ah! 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 Come on! 
Come on, quick, quick! Oh. <laughs> Look, it's Soro. Faster, Tornado. We gotta get there before they catch us. I'll stay holed up here for a few days before going back. Then claim I just barely escaped the clutches of that awful Zoro. It's a shame this will force Captain Monasterio to resign in disgrace. And the governor will have no choice but to nominate my dear husband as Alcalde of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Tornado! Aha! Well, nab him! Soros fallen into his own trap by hiding here! Isn't it strange all the accounts claim Doña Verdugo was kidnapped by Zoro? And yet you don't look like you're being detained. Get rid of him. Pleasant <laughs> <laughs> dreams, kids. Zoro, come out. <gasps> ah, you weren't expecting him. Ooh. Oh, darling. <gasps> Isabella. Oh, <sighs> my Isabella. Oh, if Don Malapensa hadn't rescued me, I'd still be in the clutches of that horrible Zorro. <laughs> oh. Zorro! Isn't that weird? I can't recall kidnapping you for the life of me. But you did. This bandit locked her up in an abandoned shack. On guard, Zorro. You will pay for this. <laughs> On guard? Really? <laughs> Move it! Hurry it yes, up! Sir. Yes, sir! <laughs> Gentlemen! Missed! What's happening? <laughs> 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 this time, you won't be able to escape. Closer, closer. Huh? <laughs> Here I am, Captain. What? <laughs> oh, sorry, Bernardo. <laughs> Got you now, Zoro. <laughs> I see you, Sergeant. Uh, no! <laughs> Is it safe? Did they catch Zoro? Oh! Don Parasol! Oh! <laughs> my sword! Someone find my sword! Yes, Captain. Oh, slash him to shreds. And let me have the pleasure of unmasking him. He must be the ugliest man in California if he has to hide behind a mask. Oh, that's not nice. Oops. Nah, it's not this one. 
please consider that as a little keepsake to remember the day you lost to Zoro. Ladies, gentlemen, the show's over. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm the real Zoro. Beware of fakes. Oh, catch that man, you bumbling fools! <laughs> Excellency, here's your sword, Captain. Garcia, you idiot! Huh? <clears throat> I hereby award you the Medal of the Order of the Condor for rescuing Doña Verdugo and Don Malapensa from that outlaw Zorro. He forgot to mention, it took a whole army to chase mm. off Zorro. Mm. Mm. My sincerest thanks, sir. I don't know what we would have done without your help. Hmm. This isn't over yet. Monasterio may have his victory today, but tomorrow, he'll slither away in shame. Oh, darling, when I was being held by Zorro, what gave me hope was thinking of you. I can hardly imagine what it's like to be kidnapped by Zorro. It must have been horrible. I find it oddly out of character for Zorro to kidnap a woman. Uh, but that's precisely what happened to me. Frankly, I'm inclined to think we must have been dealing with an imposter. Somebody could have easily passed himself off as Zorro to kidnap you. No. Imagine how awful that would be. Several Zoros. There might even be one standing right here beside us. Huh? Zorro? Where? No! <laughs> a letter from the governor. It must be an invitation to a ball. What? Soldiers who can't even capture Zoro don't deserve to be in his majesty's army. <laughs> oh. hmm. Any one of them might be Zoro. Him. It's terrible. Him. Dude, anybody? That's why he probably wears that mask, Captain. Mm. So we can't recognize him. Quiet, you idiot. He must have a distinguishing feature, this Zoro. But what? One distinguishing feature of that Zoro is he's young. Gonzalez, mm? say that again. I I simply mm. noticed Zoro looks young. Exactly. Uh. He is young. Good work, huh? Corporal. You have just given me an ingenious idea. And that's cause for oh. a promotion. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh. Hmm. It's just that there's lots of young men in California. How hmm. will we know which one's Zorro? Shut up, Garcia, and listen for once. We simply arrest them all, one by one. Every young man in the region until Zorro stops appearing. That way, I'll know I finally nabbed him! Oh! Uh, I'm terribly uh, sorry, sir. That was my fault. Throw him in jail! Now! Uh, Arrest him! Halt! <sighs> Come now, Captain. Manuel accidentally bumped into you. <laughs> my dear De La Vega, Manuel is young enough to be Zorro. He'll be the first suspect on my list. Arrest him! No, please, I have a family! Oh. What is this rebellion? He's young, too. Arrest him and toss him in prison. Bernardo can't be Zorro. He's deaf and mute. Hmm. That makes two. The list grows longer.
Mm. Uh, Bernardo, are you all right? Ines. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Look. Oh, poor Bernardo. That cell must be terribly uncomfortable. And Diego is snug in his warm bed, sound asleep. I tried to wake him, but couldn't rouse hmm. him. <laughs> hmm? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Alert! Zorro is here! Garcia, whatever you do, don't let him escape! Yes, Captain. Yes. Oh. 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 Garcia, you dummy! Behind you! Zorro! Ah. Excellent, Garcia! Keep on spinning like a top! You like this? Sergeant, I've never seen your secret pass. Perhaps we'll call it the Whirlwind of Los Angeles? Watch this! Catch him! Hurry! Gotta take the down! We got him! We got Zorro! This time, his goose is cooked! Oh! Sorry, Corporal. Lost my balance. Well, my dear, you seem to be very concerned for that outlaw. Not at all. I, I'm afraid that awful Zorro might escape from you once more. <laughs> Goodbye, senor. Zorro! <laughs> Captain, we might as well release these two suspects since mm. neither one is, you know, Zorro. Oh, no, we won't, Corporal. We'll keep them locked up. <laughs> they are part of my plan. Citizens of Los Angeles, all young men are suspected of being Zorro. Lancers, round them up. Yes, yes sir. Huh? Halt! Uh, uh, Pardon me, Captain, but I'm guessing that'd be half the men of Los Angeles. That's a lot of men, for sure. <laughs> ah, I said arrest them. You too, uh, my dear friend. <gasps> <laughs> Let's be serious. I could never wriggle into Zorro's clothes, even with a girdle on. I am not Zorro. That's plain absurd. That may be, but he's in here among you. I can feel it. What? You mean I'm locked up with that terrible Zorro? That bandit? That outlaw? Let me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Gonzalez, you're just the man I need. Take ah. over for me. Wait, I just stuffed all the mattresses with new straw. Sorry, Corporal, but I am your sergeant. That was an order. Mm. <laughs> all finished, Sergeant. Not a single tater left. Hmm, what? My, my. Then we absolutely have to hurry and take all the prisoners out to the fields and gather more potatoes. It's mainly because they're innocent. We must set them free. I need to find a way to get out of here. I have a good idea. For two days, nay, for two moons, no foods graced our forks or spoons. And this, upon the captain's orders, shall we never again leave these borders? Ah, stop it. It's horrible. Every man must have food, broiled, boiled, or stewed. I'm dreaming of beef soup and cakes for my sweet friend. Uh, no. Sweet tooth! No. Please, stop him! You have to help us! My friends, no need to applaud. That was my morning poem. Soon you'll hear the midday, the afternoon, and the evening oh, poems. No. Whoa! Captain, sir, we've nothing left to eat. And Don Diego's poetry is keeping the soldiers from enjoying a siesta. Yeah, yeah from doing chores. Sergeant, huh. only one thing interests huh? me. My plan's off to a good start because Zorro hasn't appeared once since we tossed all those suspects into prison. Which is proof positive that that bandit is right here inside the garrison. You follow me, Sergeant? Mm-hmm. 
Captain, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Hmm. Uh, that one there. Huh? Huh. <laughs> This keeps up, I'll lose a week's salary. You bumbling <laughs> fools! Is this how you guard the prison? Hmm. If Zoro isn't here, he must be here. How simple. <laughs> oh, with all his obsessing over Zoro, our dear captain's gone bonkers. You may be right, Sergeant. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hands off, soldier. You'll get yours and so will everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you you said everyone. Does that include us military men? Of course, Sergeant. <laughs> We've even brought a double serving, specially mm. for you. Oh. Mm. Mm. Much obliged, ladies. <laughs> Ines, lovely to see you. As always, you look splendid, even behind bars. Hello, uh, Antonio. You seem to need a good bath. Uh, once the captain lets us out of this place, uh, I'll come visit you. You haven't forgotten, Antonio. I'm still quite upset. My goodness, Diego. We shouldn't make you sleep on the ground. Now don't worry. Zoro will come and fix all of this. Zoro? It's his fault that we're locked up here. <laughs> Zoro is courageous, and he'll fight for justice. Forgive me for interrupting your endearing reunion, but Carmen <gasps> Violonga, you are under arrest. <gasps> Carmen? There must be an error. I saw what she did the other evening. She helped Zoro get away. That's called treason. And arrest Ines de la Vega. She's obviously her accomplice. That's absurd. You might as well arrest my horse while you're at it. Right now. Hey, no. What? Out of my way. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> I've now assembled all the bait we need to attract mm. Zoro. I don't get any of this. Isn't Zoro already locked up mm. in the garrison? <sighs> hmm. Do you want me to repeat that for you again? Uh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I will now release, one by one, our prisoners. If one of them is Zoro, uh. he will rush back to save Ines de la Vega and Carmen Vialonga. You see what I mean? Hmm. How will we know which one is Zoro? It's very simple. See, Corporal Gonzalez here gave me the idea with his Shuffle the Pebble game. Ooh. <coughs> Uh, Captain, uh, could we perhaps release Don Diego before anyone else? We're mm. fed up with his poetry. De La Vega? Not a chance in Hades, he's Zorro. Empty bellies oh. growl in the prison huh? cells of Los Angeles, California, who is ah. is craving pumpkin ah. no, 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 <laughs> That does it! We will set him free first! Phew! Oh. Thank you, Captain. Don Pedro. You were cleared in the investigation. You can go home now. Not like Carmen Vialonga or Ines de la Vega. Those traitors. They are riding, as I speak, on their way to Monterey, taking the Camino Real. They will certainly get banished by the governor. Go now, you're free. <laughs> there you go. If Zorro shows up on the Camino Real, then the real Zorro can be none other than Don Pedro. <laughs> ah, my dear De La Vega, our investigation has cleared you, and you're free to go home to... My sister Ines and Carmen? Alas, I cannot do anything for them. They're on their way now to Monterey via the beach road. The governor will certainly banish mm. them. This error is tragic. I shall protest vehemently to the governor. Sergeant, will you accompany Don Diego home, please? By force, if need be. Sir, yes, sir! Don Diego, I'm very sorry for Carmen and your sister Ines. You know who's to blame, Gonzalez. Really, Sergeant? Worst thing is, you get a fat promotion. Oh, no. I swear, it was him. And it was that bootlicker who gave the captain the idea to set you free so he could see if you're Zorro. Hmm, interesting. 
The captain told you the lovely senoritas and took the beach road. That way, if you're Zorro, you'd rescue them, and the captain would have proof that Zorro is you. Mm-hmm. The captain did the same thing with Don Pedro, but told him that they took the Camino Real. My gracious, don't you worry, though, Don Diego. We all know you're not Zorro. <laughs> Sergeant, I can't possibly prevent Gonzalez from cozying up to the captain, but I can offer you a hearty meal back at the Hacienda. Yeah! yeah hoo -hoo! Mm. yeah -hoo! Stay hidden, men. If that devilish Zorro comes, or rather, Don Pedro, we'll flail his hide. What are you doing? You waiting for someone? Yep, waiting for Zorro. We're gonna trick him into... Huh? <laughs> Alert! Zorro! What? what? Zorro! Look out! Zorro! <laughs> <laughs> we got Zorro! Surround him! This time he won't get away. Don Pedro, we yes. got you. <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> Missed! Huh. And watch this! <laughs> Beautiful day for a stroll, gentlemen. Los Angeles is just a two-hour walk. <laughs> huh. yeah. I see. You've arrested us, and it's all just one big trap for Zorro. You ought to thank me. I'm willing to overlook your suspicious behavior. Once that outlaw has been identified, you will be allowed to return home. Ugh. Calm down, you two. It's highly unlikely Zorro will show his face here. We set a trap for Don Diego, and as everyone knows, he'd be one puny Avenger. But I preferred to enjoy the company of you lovely senoritas. I couldn't leave you all alone on this beach in the dark of the night. You oh. Zorro! My apologies, Captain. I'm a tad late. It can't be him. Troops! Go get him! <laughs> Quite a catch we have here. No small fry. <laughs> On guard! You can take off the mask. I know who you are, Zorro. You're Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego? Are you very sure? <laughs> That's for having arrested these two senoritas. Both charming ah. and both innocent. Ah, I got seed! <laughs> Captain Monasterio promised to let us go, Senor Zorro. Please don't get in worse trouble by hurting him. <laughs> it was a pleasure to rescue you, ladies. Adios! 
<laughs> what a show off that Zoro is. <sighs> you can run away, Zoro, but I've unmasked you. I have won! <laughs> Let's go, Tornado. Hey, Don Diego, are you up? You ready to join me downstairs for breakfast? Wayne <laughs> uh, Diaz, Sergeant. I slept like a baby. Hmm. Go on down to the kitchen. I'll join you there. <laughs> Phew. Hmm? Dona Maria, your raisin bread. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Captain Monasterio! Uh. Ines, Carmen, you're both free! How wonderful! Don Diego, <gasps> last night you were on the beach, and you were oh. the only one who knew we would mm. be there. That means that Zorro is you, pathetic little outlaw! Huh? I was where? Where basically? Arrest him! No! Mm. Wait, uh. hold, hold on. Hey! Stop this, Captain. Hmm. Diego! Citizens of Los Angeles, you can now sleep easy. That dastardly Zorro won't cause any more trouble. Here he is. Oh. Huh? Diego? Mm. Uh, Captain, I'm pleased to say your plan worked. Zorro galloped out onto the Camino Real. Zorro stands before you, Don Pedro. It's not me, I'm innocent. Wait, how could that... Oh. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't matter. Zorro has to be one of these two individuals I released. He's either Don Pedro or Don Diego. Uh. Oh. Huh? Where are the prisoners? Well, see, they all took off pretty early last night. But if all our suspects went free last night, that means that any one of them could be Zorro. No! No big deal, Captain. We can simply arrest them all again. Oh. Gonzalez, this whole idea was yours, you fool. Prepare to scrape horseshoes for the next month. Get out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain, I've thought matters over and have reached a decision. This can't go on. Arrest me. Huh? Huh? <gasps> ah. I can't bear this. Throw me oh. in prison. You will then see I'm truly innocent when the real Zorro shows up. Bring me my poetry books. <laughs> Get out! This garrison is not a hotel! Oh. Gentlemen, let me back in! Please! <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Captain. On guard! Hey! Hey! No! Fancy one last bounce, Captain. It's raining swords, Excellency! Captain, what is the meaning of all this? This was a warm-up. You scored quite well, by the way. Do not patronize me. Captain, you lasted eight and a half minutes against, well, me. Ahem! Apologies. Don Esteban Parasol, Viceroy of California. Allow me to introduce the legendary fencing master of Monterey. Maestro Antonio Ramirez de la Poterna. Don Diego de la Vega, very impressed. And this is my friend Bernardo. <clears throat> Given our recent difficulties, I invited the maestro to Los Angeles to train the men in new techniques to be Sorry. used against Zorro, of course. He has humiliated your men. <clears throat> Yes. And thwarted every single one of your plans to ensnare him. Uh, that bandit was just very lucky, that's all. And bested you in each and every sword fight, did he not? And your point is? Uh, my point? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. 
Yeah. <laughs> Aha! I, too, could benefit from Maestro Ramirez's instruction. <laughs> so could you, Don Diego. You must be taught so you can face him. And everyone we trust, soldiers and rancheros, should also be made invincible. And what if that Zorro attacked the De La Vega Hacienda? Or another Hacienda? Or the palace? <laughs> that would be terrible, Viceroy. But it shall not happen. The only problem is, I am against using violence. It ruins spiritual harmony. Oh? <laughs> Why don't you say that to Zorro? Just enjoy it. Consider it... <laughs> exercise. Exercise? Under the scorching sun? In this... Dust and sand? <laughs> Come on, Don Diego. We have a deal. <sighs> a bit of exercise will do us no harm. See you tomorrow for our lesson. <laughs> yes, this pretentious fencing master deserves to be taught a lesson. Huh? I cannot risk being unmasked, so I shall show them the extent of my talent. <laughs> Pathetic, worse than pathetic. Ah, very well now. You, soldier, are sure of winning against my grandmother. Frankly, Captain, you haven't given me much to work with. And still, you've yet to see the worst. Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, who taught you to use a sword? My grandmother. Your grandmother, Sergeant? Where? In her kitchen? Oh, in her kitchen, too. B mm. <laughs> but... Uh, Silence, uh, Sergeant! We've not come here to hear about your family uh, life. This Zorro must know every attack, every thrust taught by your very, uh, very basic, uh, archaic, uh, simplistic uh, repertoire. Uh, in short, uh, Bad. Totally bad. Worse than bad. Badissimo. Pathetic. Appalling. So, we must teach you a new move. A secret thrust of my own invention that he cannot know. The Maestro's Thrust. On guard! Attack, Sergeant. But, uh, why me? Because you're a sergeant. Sergeant? Mm -hmm. Sir, huh? if the sergeant is not up to the task, I am at your disposal. What? You? A corporal? And who said I'm not up to the task? Uh, you did. Oh, that. Yeah, that was a, a strategy. <laughs> On guard! <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. That, Sergeant, is your new secret thrust against Zoro. Sidestep his attack, switch hands, slice oh. down, slice oh. up, disarm, uh. then uh. in for the finish. <laughs> Move, uh, Sergeant. Oh. We haven't got all day. Yes, Captain. We'll try it at half speed. Oh. On guard! Uh. Now switch! Got it! Oops! <laughs> oh. Oh, well, keep working on it. With some effort, you should nail it down. Before the 20th century. At least, I hope so. You'd ah. better master Maestro Ramirez's instruction immediately. Uh, yes, Captain. Or you will find yourself back on laundry duty. Maestro! Maestro! On guard! <laughs> oh, I, I did it! <laughs> Captain! Maestro! Did you see? Uh, did you see I... <laughs> oh, at least you saw me, right, Gonzalez? I saw nothing. Huh? Nothing at all, Sergeant. All right, gentlemen. Well, Maestro, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Proceed. <laughs> Don Diego, that is a ceremonial sword. Ah, it is indeed. It was a gift from my father, Don Alejandro de la Vega. And it is completely inappropriate for sparring. Really? But it's so pretty. This is a real work of art. You should hang it up on some huh? wall. Let's just find you something a little bit more, um, suitable. Excellency, you say such frightening things. Do we really <clears throat> have to fight? So far, I'm not very impressed. I'll go easy on him. But Maestro, he'd take that as disrespect. No, you must treat him as if he were Zorro himself. As I would Zorro. But your Don Diego might not survive such an encounter. Hmm. 
I can live with that. No, this one isn't even shiny. Now, Don Diego, before I begin my instruction, I must assess your skill. So, raise your blade and prepare. Uh, uh, is it supposed to be this heavy? On guard! Whoa! Ha! 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 Hey! Whoa! Really? Is this uh, quite necessary? Take it. it is, Don Diego. It's high time you improve your skills with the sword. These lessons have lost all entertainment value. I believe it is now time for me to take my leave. Oh? But, Don Diego, don't you want to improve your skills? What if Zoro attacks? Come on, you're nearly there. One can only hope that Zoro has the good taste to attack with a ceremonial sword, and then we may both stand there admiring our blades with no damage done. <laughs> Completely incompetent. Ready for your uh... lesson, Excellency? Me? Oh, uh, well, of course. <laughs> oh, huh? but my lumbago is acting up today. Uh, uh, perhaps we could postpone my lesson? As you wish. By that time, perhaps De La Vega will be ready for lesson number two. When pigs fly. No, maestro. I'm afraid you've scared our good friend Don Diego away. What a pity. <laughs> Yes, such a good friend who gives up so easily. Yes, Captain. A friend who has just returned from Spain. And a very elegant caballero who honors us. Elegant? Indeed. Have you seen the way Senorita Carmen looks at him? <laughs> I bet you wish she looked at you that way. If the Senorita saw how he handled a blade, she wouldn't give him a second huh? glance. I must admit, poor Don Diego wouldn't last long in one of our famous competitions. <laughs> What a brilliant idea, sire! Is it? Absolutely. Zoro won't be able to resist showing up, too. And then, gentlemen, I know how to eliminate Zoro. No, I do. I did get the idea, after all. Brilliant! Oh. That sums it up perfectly. You know what, Captain? <laughs> I surprise myself every day. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Captain Monasterio has organized a competition. A great fencing competition. Mm. Uh, uh, tomorrow at noon, in honor of Maestro Ramirez, the winner will receive as a trophy a beautiful, oh. solid gold medal. Oh, thank you, Doña Maria. Uh, what a wonderful mm. cook you are. What a wonderful wife you would uh. make. Hmm? A soldier spends hours with his backside on his horse just to fulfill his duty without anything to eat. Ow! Ow! Oh. It sounds frightful. Frightful? Do you think so? Uh, shapely, yes. Impressive, yes. But frightful. Not your backside, Sergeant. The contest. It's scheduled for noon, but I never rise before two. But you have to take part in it. For the De La Vega's honor. That's just inhuman. <sighs> if the son will not compete, then the father should. <gasps> father, no. It's too dangerous. But Don Alejandro, would you worry your daughter by taking such a risk? I assure you, my father would do nothing. I'm huh? in. But father, you are too old for that kind of thing. Old? Me? <laughs> I'm still in my prime. Hmm. Fine, I will compete. Regretfully, but since it has to be done, I will compete uh. in our father's stead. And I will make sure no harm comes to Don Luis. Mmm! Adios! Senores, on guard! Jerk one peso. Do you want to put me out of business? The house doesn't do credit. Buy a favor. A favor to give your beloved. I also have some authentic lucky charms. The winner will take home the Medal of Honor, granted me by His Majesty, our good King of Spain, in person. A treasure made out of real, solid gold. Oh. Huh? <laughs> 
Diego, don't you have someone special you'd like to give a favor to? Senoritas, it was impossible for me to choose between the radiance of two bright suns. There is no need, Father. The captain has already seen to it. Diego! <gasps> Don't overdo huh? it. She's my friend. But you do know this is to protect her. <clears throat> Get out! <laughs> we will be honored to escort you, senorita. How sweet of you. And now, <sighs> Senor Don Diego de la Vega against Corporal Ignacio Gonzalez. Gentlemen, on guard! Diego, raise your sword! You're supposed to preserve the honor of the De La Vegas, not sully it! Father, I can't hold my sword and use my fan at the same time. <laughs> Diego, we've not gathered here to fan ourselves. Could Bernardo possibly do it then? I feel so hot. <laughs> if he could just stand behind me like that... Diego, look out! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Diego, are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. This shirt is made of silk. Now it's stained, probably damaged beyond repair. Perhaps my Spanish soap uh, Quick, take me home, Bernardo. Not exactly a champion with the blade, <laughs> is he, senorita? Mm. The De La Vega's honor deserves far better than that. I shall take part in this competition. Father, no! Well, my friends, that's one objective reached. You made a fool of your rival in front of the girl, but there's still no sign of Zorro. <laughs> Trust me, he'll be here. Quick, Bernardo. We mustn't keep our friends waiting. They are so eager to catch Zorro. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Bravo, my friend! Bravo! <laughs> and our semi-finalists are... Captain Monasterio and Don Luis Villalonga. So, enjoying yourself, Don Luis? I am, Captain. In fact, I may just win the day. And our famous Maestro's Medal. Oh, will you now? Gentlemen, <laughs> on guard! <laughs> Captain, this is a friendly contest, not a fight to the finish. Still think you'll win the day, Don Luis? <laughs> Enough! Stop this, Captain. Zoro! Zoro! <laughs> I'm here for your contest, Captain. Zoro, you're going to wish you hadn't come here to taunt me. I hope that I'm not too late. <laughs> oh, two against one. <laughs> you are really spoiling me. <laughs> oh, good work there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
You've been practicing, Captain. I see the maestro's lessons everyone is talking about have not gone entirely to waste. Silk shirt, too? So, Captain, how is the water? Get off me, you fools! No, Captain, my turn. Now, this is between Zoro and the Maestro. In other words, me. That is why I'm here. To see if Zoro can out-Maestro the Maestro. Well, then, on guard. <laughs> You are good, I'll give you that. But I am even better. Zoro! Even if that were true. Huh? Oh? I do have other skills. For example, my penmanship. Huh? Huh? <laughs> then, there are my barbering skills. Maestro, you will be so much faster without that mustache weighing you down. Hmm? Ah, my mustache! You're welcome. <laughs> so, my fellow Angelinos, who has won the captain's contest? Oh, no! <laughs> Gracias, amigos! Soldiers, apprehend that fiend! Oh, captain, my captain. Have I overstayed my welcome? Sergeant, oh. the secret thrust! Huh? Whoa. Wow! Garcia, you executed that maneuver perfectly! Oh, do you really think so? Yes, it was brilliant! Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Adios! Adios, Zoro! <laughs> Garcia! Oh. oh! What a lovely medal! Please do thank His Majesty for me. <laughs> but for now, I must be off. And you call yourself a maestro? What are you master of, huh? The art of the humiliating defeat? Oh, but I seem to recall he defeated you before <laughs> me! What do you mean, you pathetic second-rate <laughs> fencer? <laughs> It's too bad Diego missed the show. I think it would have been educational for him. <laughs> I can't believe Zoro faced all those formidable swordsmen on his own. I still shudder at the thought. The sentiment huh? does you credit, senorita. <gasps> Zoro! <laughs> for the honor of the De La Vegas! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Ha, 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 ha.